Hello my reading friends, welcome to Stories with Two Peas. Today we're going to read Don't Hug the Quokka by Daniel Errico. This is the Quokka. I thought you should know, he's cute and he hops and he smiles like so. If ever you look and see him below, standing in front of you, waving, hello. Don't try to hug him, or he will say, whoa. Back up, go on. Three more steps, there you go. He'll draw out a line on the ground with his toe. You can't touch the quacker. The quacker says, no. His cheeks will look fluffy, softer than dough. Don't try to squeeze them. The quokka says, no. Don't try to sneak up behind him real slow. His tail has its own way of telling you, no. He doesn't want hugs outside in the snow. Even when frozen, the quokka says, no. He might stretch his arms and make a big show. That's just a <laughs> yawn. The quokka says, no. And what if he naps and cuddles up low? Even when snoring, The quacker says, no. What if, just what if, you hug like a pro? What if you ask seven times in a row? He already answered you pages ago. You can't hug the quacker. The quacker says, no, oh no, no, nah. No, hmm, no, 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 not eh, no, nope, and no. So don't hug the quacker, that is, unless you ask for a hug and the quacker says yes. How adorable was that quacker? His smile was cute. His little eyes were cute. His ears were cute. They are just cute, 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 aren't they? Well, thanks for joining me with another episode of Stories with Toopies. See you later.